Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel! And for today, um, we drop by here to Yeavne. Um, Yeavne is a city here in Israel. As you can see, so beautiful. Most of whom barely remember where the southern tribal boundaries were set by Moses. There is little evidence that Christians live and worship at Tamar or drunk from the refreshing artisan well outside Roman walls. But certainly, King Solomon and subsequent Jewish kings knew of the city's strategic significance. Moses understood its importance and the Israelites camp at Tamar or Ubot and drank from the cool oasis waters. They get the name Ir Ubot from a biblical Ubot in the book of Kings. But now it is known as The ancient site of biblical Tamar ranks among the most important archaeological sites in southern Israel. Only these rocks could speak is a praise often heard in Israel. But the rocks do speak at Tamar, and they tell us about the place and the people who live there, only faintly remembered and recorded in biblical writings. They are a visible reminder of what happened when nomads first wandered across the region, followed by Canaanites, Phoenicians, Hebrews, Arabs, and other Semitic tribes who settled the land and who left behind distinct layers of sediment and stone to form the seven periods of archaeological history we see today. Confirmed by Abishai Shmida, the professor of botany of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, this is the oldest tree in the Holy Land, with an estimated age of 1,500 to 2,000 years. The tree existed here since the Roman period and survived its harsh climate, thanks to the water supply from the spring. The common name of this tree, Christ Thorn, is based on the tradition of the type of tree branches which the Romans placed on Jesus' head in order to torture and scorn him on his last journey. A well is located at the end of the aqueduct. The British constructed a water through for the camels.
Reconstructions reveal information about people living at Tomar during the critical seven periods. As the site is analyzed and slowly rebuilt, the truth slowly emerges. We begin to see what life was like back then from the times when early Hebrews first arrived to present-day Israelis now living in the land of Israel. Um, Air Robot was founded by Simca Pearl Pearl 